Spacesuit Genius is proud to introduce our full line of Wolverine uh, harnesses that will enable you to get your Wolverine cement mixer or other single solenoid product up and running. That could include in the future probably dozer blades um, or anything else that uses a single solenoid. So this one uh, generally is off the cement mixer and what you're going to see is this little DIN connector. Usually they don't even put wires in this so you just have this sticking on the side of the solenoid. There's a little screw inside here you just want to take that off and open it up. Um, and you'll see how all the connections are made. What we did though was we made it a little bit easier for you and we actually have a harness. So you can unscrew this one and just put it aside and this is all ready to go. Um, and all you're gonna do is take that one off, use this little screw here, it's either Phillips or a small flat, number one flat, um, screw it on and then you'll route this wire along the hoses and just tie wrap it about every 18 inches and then this should end up out at the end of the hoses uh, right where they would plug into the machine. If you have any little extra cable, loop it back just near where the solenoid is, put a tie wrap on it. That way if you do accidentally leave it connected and drive away from the machine, it'll pull, it'll snap off some of the tie wraps, but it should save your wiring. Now of course if you drive 50 feet away, it's going to tear the whole thing apart and you're going to have to start all over again. But in using these and just having that little extra wire, we would like to give you a little bit of play room there. So I'll show you how this all goes together now. We've got two types of kits that are meant to plug in directly into the machines. We've got an eight pin and we've got a 14 pin. So this one's the 14 pin. And this one here is the eight pin. These are our plug and play kits. So what happens is once this is routed, you're gonna have this connection here. You're gonna take this and plug it straight in. And this plugs in your machine. This is an eight pin. So this is your cat, uh, your old cat AC, ABC series as well as your um, Terex ASV. And then this is the 14 pin, this plugs in as well. And this covers all your modern machines, which is your, like your Kubotas and your, your case, um, as well as your Caterpillar D series. If you'll notice in the end of this, we actually have an LED inside this connector. And what this LED does is it enables you to figure out which button to push. So you'll plug this into your machine, get inside the cab, turn the key on, and then touch the buttons until you see this thing light up. Once you see it light up, that'll tell you that that's the button that you wanna use. Now, to operate this valve, what you're gonna do is you'll touch it and this, it, when you touch that button, it triggers the solenoid and it takes it from the primary feed to the secondary feed. Your primary feed is gonna probably be in the cement mixer, it's gonna be your, your paddles. And how, what you'll do with that is you'll use your, your um, pump control on your right stick and you could forward or reverse it, but when you go to actually say open the chute up, you're gonna push this button, whichever one you've identified, and you're gonna also use that same pallet control. Cause this just selects the valve. So it takes it from the primary to the secondary, and then the pump control makes it go forward or reverse. So if you wanna open and close your chute, you're gonna push that button, and then you're gonna use your pump control to either open or close the chute. So one of the cool things we've done with the 14 pin is we've actually pinned two positions. So for most machines, it's on the left stick. So you'll be able to select one or two, one or two buttons on there to make this actuate. But also what we did was inside here, John Deere uses a different ground. And the reason they do that is to make you think that, oh, none of my attachments are gonna work. What I generally tell people, if you have a new machine, you've never bought attachments before, just inside the John Deere machine, move the ground from A to B and then that'll make it universal with everybody's attachments. However, if you haven't done that, you've got a bunch of attachments, you don't wanna go through that effort, what you can do is open up the back of this connector. You're gonna see a little jumper in here. We've already put it to ground. All you have to do is take this piece of shrink tubing off, fold it over with a pair of pliers and push it into A. That's all. Now that'll give you a ground point on A and B, which means it'll work in John Deere or most every other machine. The only time you don't wanna do this is if it's in a Cat D series. Cat D series actually uses A as a hot control button. So if you were to do that and you hit one of the buttons, the wrong button, um, it'll put a 12 volt strike to the ground and blow your fuse. So this is only a John Deere recommended fix and enables you to run this universally on John Deere as well as the majority of other machines out there. So once you flipped it over, pushed it through, 
you put the cover back on again, screw it on, and this is good to go. Now, another thing we offer is Bobcat 7-pin control. Bobcat 7-pin control uses a proprietary system that they developed um, around 2000. Uh, if you look on the end of the connector, there's a power and a ground, and then there's two can line controls. That's actually a digital control. Inside our controllers, there's a little computer in here that, that reads the codes from the machine, turns it into switch 12 volt. If you look at Bobcat, all their attachments actually have a small computer in every one of those attachments. That's specifically done so that you think that you cannot use it on other people's machines. In this case, what we want to do is we want to be able to run this on a Bobcat, and this is a non-Bobcat attachment. So what we do is we use the same harness. We have a little jump harness that takes the, the uh, configuration here and turns it into a plug. So it'll plug directly into this controller. And then that's it. You plug this into the machine. You're going to see this little LED flash that tells you that it's, it's got power as well as got can control coming from the machine. It's reading the codes. And then on the button that's closest to your thigh, it's got a picture uh, and it goes up and down. It's got a picture of two opposing solenoids you want to use that. If you touch the top of it, it's a locking feature. If you touch the bottom, it's momentary. Again, you're going to touch either touch that button and have it lock in place. And then you reach over and you use the paddle control that goes left and right on the right stick. And that will actuate. So the, the button here will actuate the solenoid and then this will move the pump forward and reverse, which will then allow the chute to either open or close. So no matter what type of machine you have, we've got you covered. We've got seven pin, we've got 14 pin, we've got seven pin can for Bobcat, as well as we have independent switch kits. So check the Wolverine section of our website and you'll find pretty much everything that you need. And that's skidsteergenius.com. Okay, if you don't have any controls in your machines, we've also got a couple of ways to fix you up here. One of them is this little switch kit. Uh, it's a little single button. It will go on your stick. You route the cable down and then there's a cable extension available that will take it all the way out your boom and it will plug directly into this connector which then goes off to the solenoid. And it's a simple installation. It works exactly the same way. You push the button which then does the selector, reach over in your right hand, use your paddle control to either open or close the chute. For those of you that don't want to do any kind of wiring, we actually offer a Bluetooth control system. What this does is it plugs directly into the attachment. However, you don't even need to do that on the harness. You can actually go directly to um, however, depending on the type of attachment that you have, whether you have a Deutsch or not, if you're using a DIN connector, which is what Wolverine has, but if it's say it's a McLaren or even a Titan, uh, you'll probably have a Deutsch. You can plug this directly into here. If you have a Wolverine that's using this DIN connector, then what you're going to have to do is just roll this harness back up inside the attachment and then you can install this anywhere. It uses magnets, it plugs in and then you can plug this directly into the, into the connector. And then this little battery box plugs in as well. We have a little harness here. The harness plugs into the box, like so. Plug directly into the solenoid control here. And then we have our own app. So you can go to the App Store, either Google Play Store or, um, or Apple, and you can download the app and you'll actually be able to control your attachment using your phone. Whoa!